Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and last time we, uh, we actually cleared out, like, two or three islands last, last time. We, uh, did the Isles still, we went through Greyfish Isle, and we also did some stuff on Rock Spire Isle, and we actually did, uh, the big, or a great majority of the stuff. So now, uh, we did everything that is, uh, everything that we need to do, uh, around the island, so let's go ahead and get on this, uh, this, uh, poor excuse of an island, and we'll go ahead and start doing some stuff. Okay, so we have some boulders here, and the only way that we can destroy them is with, uh, very well-timed bombs. So just wait till they're, till they're about to explode and then throw them. And it's as simple as that. Actually, actually, this isn't very simple at all. But you just gotta learn. And try not to blow yourself off of the um, the pillars. Because that'll, that'll kind of suck. So, just wait till, those, till they start flashing a lot like that. And then throw them. Well, actually, not look quite like that because that was a little too late. Uh, like that. There we go. And what... Jeez, that was the last one. That was actually a little easier than what I remember it being. Okay, what do we got? A sign. To reach Western Ferry Isle, head west from here. Okay, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory because Western Ferry Isle would obviously be in the west. And we've already been there. So. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out our fire arrows. Ah. Uh, okay, how many buttons are you going to push until you get it right? Um, so let's go ahead and do that, and then that, um, leave awaken a bunch of keys, how great is that? Okay, what I recommend doing is just continuously doing spin attacks like I'm doing right now. This way, you can kill a bunch of keys, and also basically prevent yourself from being attacked. I have no idea why they all just flew away all of a sudden. Okay. Got a better idea. Okay, well maybe. Okay, fuck it. There we go. That wasn't all of them? Hello? Oh, there were some stragglers. Oh well. Okay. And now we can claim our plot, our prize for that Keese Massacre. So it actually really wasn't that big of a Keese ma Massacre. We just killed a lot of Keese. Which I guess could be considered a massacre. And this is treasure chart number 37 that we give for killing all those Keese. So, that's good. Making some progress. And now we are done with this island, so we can just sail on. Sail on north. As usual. Okay. And I believe the wind is still sailing north, so... We can just go right on our way. And what I will do is I will speed it up, and I will meet you guys on this island. So, yep. Okay, well I guess that wasn't a uh, very long of a speed up, but on this island all we have to do is use a treasure chart and get our map, and that's all. So I guess this isn't going to take too long, um, because there will be a lot of islands like this that we've already done basically everything on, and all we have to do is get our map and maybe use a treasure chart, and that's all we really have to do on some of these islands. So we will go th through a lot of these fairly quickly, but there will be those couple of islands that will actually take an entire part to go through. But this isn't one of those. Okay, oi, small fry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, da, 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 da. 
So again, another map. And he will say, they say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the per perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy, but the thing is, no one's ever met her. I have, actually, and she hit on me, too. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. We don't want to throw more bait, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's basically talking about the fairy that's in there that will uh, give you the fire and ice fire and ice arrows. And we did that uh, in a, a lot of parts back. So, oh crap, don't sail over it. I sailed over it. I feel so stupid. That's why I should have been paying attention. Instead of jacking off. And I don't mean jacking off as in jerking my gherkin. I mean darking around. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, are, are we going to appear on this map or not? Okay. Well? Oh, jeez, where the heck? <laughs> I was, like, uh, very far from it. Okay. And... Okay, that should be good enough. So let's go ahead and use this, and we will see what we get. Oh, I'm very tired. Oh, and we just get a silver rupee. Oh well, that's no good. Okay, so now we will continue on and go to the next island. And again, there will be a speed-up, just to cut out that extra 30 seconds of sailing. Okay, so on this square, we need to get our map, and we also need to use a treasure chart. So, we will do both of those things in just a brief second. Uh, as soon as we find that fish, which I believe I just saw, yep, right there, on the horizon. On the horizon. Horizon sun, oh crap. Don't destroy me, you stupid barrels. Seagulls flying with us. How beautiful. Okay, so use our bait. Get Mr. Fishy over here to give us our map. Because that's his job. And we will find that this island is called Star Island because of its shape. So, okay. With something like that, you can even freeze that nasty monster in the Forsaken Fortress. For a while, anyway. You know, what is he talking about? Not exactly sure. But then, what would you do with a frozen monster, you say? Good question, Fry. Tiny pieces is all I got to offer you. Hmm. Kind of am curi curious about what he was talking about. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and use treasure chart number 7 on this island, and we will get our treasure. So, right over here. But this isn't all that we have to do on this island. We still have to do stuff actually on the island. But nothing really too time consuming or difficult or anything. Is that a heart? Woohoo. Uh, stupid deceiving heart. Made me sail over it. I hate these, uh,. These maps that they just put like, uh, that they put the X's like right on the edge of it. So it's hard to tell if you're actually in the range of it or not. Uh, 
Okay. And we get our chest. So let's see what we get. Oh, I'm tired. And I still got homework I need to do, which is excellent. I'm tired. I'm recording. I still got homework I gotta do. This is horrible. Okay, so now let's get out and get on to this island. And I probably shouldn't have gotten out because that was just kind of stupid of me. So, alright, on this star island there are just a bunch of boulders and grass. And there is a Korok in the middle and we will do stuff with him later on. So basically we are looking for this hole right here. And we'll fall down into it and do some shit. Do some stuff. Hmm. There are actually uh, quite a few of, uh, quite a few caves that actually look exactly like this that um, you have to fight like waves of monsters in. So I don't know why that is. Maybe they're just very popular or something. Okay, and then we got some nosy bokoblins that are gonna come down and be like, "What's going on?" Death is what's going on, actually. Okay, and then uh, two more nosy ones. Woohoo! Oh, these are literally nosy because they got pig noses. Ha ha ha! Clever. All right, those went down pretty easy. What do you have for me next? Oh, moblins! Ooh, moblins! So threatening. Okay, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, you die. And that's all. So, and this is going to be a heart piece, which is obvious because it's that chest. So we will go ahead and get that, and that will actually be another fourth heart piece. So, then there will only be 20 more hearts left out there. I love hearing those numbers go down. So, let's go ahead and get this. This nice spiked red chest, which we can tell holds a red, or holds a rupee. I mean, a heart piece. <sighs> yeah, now there are only 20 heart pieces left in the game. And only five more heart containers that we will be completing. So. Okay, what time are we up to? 14. Um, I believe we have time to at least get to the other island. So I think that's what we will do. So let's go ahead. But now we need to change the direction east because we are done with all the islands or all the squares in the second column. That isn't to say that we're not going to be coming back to any of them. But for the moment being, we are done with them. So, let's go ahead and scroll down on my guide. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get out of the water. Ugh. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, on this island, all we ha well, the first thing we need to do actually is get our map. So we're going to do that first. And then there's a sub we have to take care of, and then um, that's actually all. So, yep. Actually, no, then we have a map that we got to use at this island. So I think what I'll go ahead and do actually is get our map and also use the treasure chart. Um, for this island. 
And then that'll leave us with only one thing to do in the next part for this island. So, it's good. Okay. Sea chart. Woohoo. Get our map. Same old song and dance. Northern Fairy Island, which we've already been here before, and this is where we got um, an upgrade that I do not remember what it was. The little shopmaster in Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. It's a pretty cool magical relic. From what I've heard, if you want him to give it to you, try staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery. Fry. Ha 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 ha. That's all the info I've got to offer. I want to hear the... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we already heard the whole deal about um, ma the magic armor. In fact, we've already gotten it and we already have it. We already stared deeply in into his eyes and won him over with flattery. We already did that. Okay, so with this island we can use treasure chart number 44 to get us another treasure. So we will do that. And I think that's all we'll do because... or maybe we could do the submarine in this part, but I don't know. I don't know, I, I just want to end this so I can go to bed. Actually, no, I still got to do homework, and then I can go to bed. Well, even then I can't really go to bed, because I got to get ready for bed, and then I got to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, not really a whole bunch of other stuff. I think I'm going to do an update video tonight. I think I should do that. Yeah, I probably should. Okay, quit talking about what you're going to do. You're making this an update video, um, talking about how you're going to do an update video. There we go, more rupees, which this is actually the third island in a row that we've actually gotten rupees. So, it's a little weird, a little stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that submarine, because we all live in a yellow submarine, in case you didn't know that. Okay, 18 minutes. I think that we could find the submarine and do most of what we have to do in it before the end of this part. Assuming that I can actually find it and get to it, which I can see it, but in fact, let's go ahead and just make the wind go east, and that way we can get to it just a slight bit faster. Because I think that'll work out better. Okay. And maybe I'll save us a little bit of time. I should be recording right now. You should never record when you're tired. Unless you absolutely need to, which I kind of do, because I haven't really recorded in quite a little bit of time. Well, actually, I recorded the past two parts um, within the past hour, but anyway. So let's just ignore all these bow goblins, and we will just go right in here and see what's going on in this submarine. I'm pretty sure it can't be nothing, uh, can't be anything too interesting. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump on that. Okay, so when we come in here, we find a bunch of moblins, so I guess the first thing that we want to do is take care of these guys. Because, obviously, since there's really nothing else except for these lanterns, um, killing these moblins will make a chest or something appear. So, that is what we will do. Okay, die. Alright. Now let's go ahead and get back up here. Wait, did I really have to kill those guys? If not, it's not a huge deal, I guess. Okay. So let's try and see if I can actually grab this other lantern without having to go... Uh, that was just fail. That had fail marked all over it. I probably could have got it if I had immediately jumped right after uh, grabbing onto it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay, that just saved us a little bit of time actually. And then we will go ahead and do it again with the leaf and everything. Okay, I hope there wasn't a ch uh, switch or anything that I was supposed to push in order to make something appear in here. Oh, pfft. Okay, well I guess you have to kill those moblins before you can jump up here. 
Okay, but I wonder why the chest didn't appear after I killed him. Because that's usually what those chests in here do. But oh well, I guess. Okay, and we got another treasure chart. Which is good. And this is treasure chart number... Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <gasps> 22! Okay. So now... We can go ahead and exit this area, this submarine, and we will be done with this island, or this square. Because we were done with the island a bunch of parts ago, but now we will actually be done with this square. Okay, well anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching, and next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we will move on and do the next square. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.